Sorry, I thought I could get a sip in before the camera started rolling. <laughs> this is Connie, and I am here again with a weekly What Am I Wearing on My Face. Um, I'm going to do this every week. It, you know, I hope it doesn't get boring for you. I try to use something different every time I'm doing my makeup. So hopefully um, you won't get tired of it. So let's get going right away. If you're interested in this kind of thing, please stay tuned. thing that I'm wearing today is I thought I would um, use some of the stuff I got last week in my haul in my Too Faced haul and I am using the I'm gonna have to put my glasses on for this <laughs> I will show you my face later but um, this is the Hangover RX replenishing face primer by Too Faced and I use that of course I washed my face or I took a shower washed my face um, put on lotion and then I use the face primer then I use the lasting finish 25 hour comfort serum by Rimmel the new one that I got last week and it blended beautifully the color was great um, it feels good on my face it really doesn't even feel like I have much on actually um, I got it in the color light ivory and it seemed to match pretty well my skin tone so uh, I I have such a hard time figuring out what color I am am I a porcelain I'm very light skinned so am I a porcelain am I a light ivory am I a classic ivory am I a light uh, am I just an ivory any of you experts know just by looking at me, looking at my skin tone. Um, this is a little hard to see my skin tone when I have foundation on. But anyway, anyway, um, impressed with this so far. This is only the first time I've used it. So, okay. So the next thing I used was um, I went in and did my anti-crease eyeshadow primer by Too Faced. And that went on very well. I usually don't have much problem with um, those kind of things. Then I went in with my Better Skin Concealer Super Stay. Um, I think I, I, let's see, I got the color uh, Light in 20. And I kind of think it's a little bit too dark. Um, there it is under my eyes. Uh, I just kind of think that I should have went one shade lighter in this. And I might next time, but I'm going to use this up anyway, you know, because it's not terribly off. Okay, so the next thing I did was my brows. And I used my new Maybelline New York Brow Drama. And what it looks like is like this. And I had kind of a tough time with it. Um, can't say that I'm real impressed with that big old round thing on the end it doesn't carry as much color as I like um, my eyebrows are a lot lighter than I would like uh, meaning the color is fine it's meaning that I just couldn't get a lot of transfer out of this and I should have went in with a little bit of powder but I thought well I'm going to show you what this does so so far maybe it's just a learning curve I have to have with this this spoolie in here so I'll keep trying um, every week I've, I've got three of them now I think three I'm gonna keep um, just switching back and forth every week uh, I rotate all my makeup every week I use a different blush every time I every time I uh, put makeup on I use a different uh, Mascara, I use a different lipstick because I've got so many. So that's why I do that. But um, tell me how you guys do it. Do you do like a weekly or monthly makeup basket and just put stuff in a basket and 
use only that stuff for the month or do you rotate or do you just use what you want to use tell me down below in the thingamajig okay for mascara well wait let's I'm getting a little ahead of myself here let's go with the eyeshadows and I use the hard candy natural eye palette today I'm really into matte um, shadows except for that pop of color on my lid lately and I used this as an all-over color and uh, as a highlight underneath my brow I use this on my lid and this as a transition in my um, crease and then I used my pop of color I got a little whoops I'm a little bit down sorry about that um, did you see this that I used this this and this and then I used the gold as the pop of color on my lid I will show you that gold is the only shimmer shade and I got a little carried away with the with the gold so I'll show you my eyes today I really like that gold on my lid um, I've been doing that the last three weeks and I really like it so anyway um, then I went in let's see here I went in and used my new elf eyeliner and shadow stick and only I used the just the eyeliner on my top lid that's what that looks like and it's kind of a purpley brown almost but I think it's really turned out kind of pretty I just did a really um, small line over my eye and then I went in and did about half my my eye underneath just lightly I didn't do it very very dark okay so then for mascara I opened a brand new one I had this in my drawer for quite a while I thought I'm gonna use it it's a mega plump mascara by wet n wild and I tore up the packaging I don't know it says five times plumper that's all that I can read on there because I tore it up pretty good when I opened it and this is the uh, it's it's not very wet um, I did smear it just a little bit because I was trying to get in there real tight um, it's not real dry either but it's not real wet so it, it worked pretty good okay so then for blush which as you can see I got a little carried away with because and I used my pretty new tart because this is so dark and I went in a little bit too um, rich with this so it's a little dark but I don't think it's looking in my mirror I don't think it's over dark what do you guys think looking in the viewfinder it looks a little darker a little more stark on my my um, cheeks okay so then for highlight I went in with my color pop and it is in the color wisp and I used my fan brush um, which I don't think worked really well on this I think you almost have to use your fingers on this what do you guys think and I don't really like doing that with highlights okay so then I went in with um, a, to set everything I went in with my mineral wear talc free mineral correcting powder in translucent um, which I don't think it's really what this is I should have just went in with a pressed powder because you could really see this when I went in so I really had to buff it out so hopefully I got it all um I don't see any on my skin but hopefully I got it all the last thing I did was um I went in with that lip lava covergirl lip lava that I just got um can't say that I am crazy about this stuff I do not like the brush at all see it's a brush and I really had a hard time with this um I, I have a kind of a hard time with anything that's not a regular lipstick anyway <laughs> when it's dark stuff um, I think I got it cleaned up pretty good it's a very pretty shade very pretty it is and it just says 870 color 870 and it was on clearance last week I think or the week before for five dollars and I noticed they still had some on clearance this week. Okay, so that is it for what I'm wearing. 
But I have something else I wanted to show you. I wanted to do an unboxing, but I got too excited about it. Um, let me just wipe this off a second here. I got a new phone. It's a Note 4. It's very large. Whoops. Well, there's the weather today. That's our weather here right now. It's been rainy all, most of the day. Um, right now it's just cloudy, it says. Chance of rain, 64%. And it's supposed to rain a couple of times this week. So anyway... Isn't it beautiful? I had a really tough time with it, though. I got this almost a week ago. And I bought the wrong SIM card. I bought a SIM card that goes with your tablet. I bought it off of eBay, which was absolutely stupid. But I'll try to sell it. Um, anybody uses a, a Note 4 or a, a tablet, Samsung tablet, that needs a SIM card, let me know. Um, also... Well, I put my own background on here. God dang it, I keep hitting the button. I don't I don't like it because I don't have a case for it yet. I ordered a couple of cases off of Amazon Review Trader that will be here, but I have not used them yet uh, or got them yet. So, so far, so good. I don't know how to use a lot of it, but I can program my TV with this, which is so awesome. It's called the... Uh, Peel Smart Remote, and what you do is you hit that button, and it shows me what's on TV right now, and I can just click something, and I can go to it on my TV. My TV's off. I can turn my TV on and off on this. I can, I can record on this, um, or you know, set my my DVR up or my TiVo up. Um, it is really a cool app. I love this. I also have nothing really that I know of yet. Um, I've only had, I only got this set up yesterday. So I'm still learning. But isn't, it's huge. But I, I really like that because I like being able to see because you guys know my eyesight is kind of shitty. But I, I love it. I absolutely love it. It comes with, this is the charging cord which my other charging cord for my um, Altel works just fine. I charged it yesterday. But it came in a box like this. And you open it up and it comes with earbuds, which is kind of awesome. It comes with replacement ends for my earbuds. It comes with this, which I don't know what it is. <laughs> and this is a wall charge wall charger dealy bob or you plug it in right there okay this was my sim card that came with it it come in a box like this and there's several sim cards in here or it came with the you know my activation and all that kind of stuff um my instructions i got 45 uh, forty-five dollars a month is what it cost me. It used to cost me a close to close to fifty, anywhere from forty-six to fifty dollars a month for my straight talk phone. So that's that. I wanted to show. I wanted to brag a little bit about that. I'm absolutely happy with my with my phone, and I will. I am back. This is my first video of the day. I've got lots of pre-recording to do for the week. Um, I thought I was done spending money, but I guess not. <laughs> Plus, I got some things in that I ordered, my review mail and all that kind of stuff. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Love you.